My name is Sam, and this is another drag race. Let's roll! Today, I'm driving the new Ford Mustang GT, the S650, and we're going to drag race it. Okay, so here we go. We got the 2024 Mustang GT. This is a five liter V8, naturally aspirated, rear wheel drive, six speed manual transmission. And then we got on that side, the Nissan Z, six speed manual transmission as well, V6, twin turbo, three liter, 400 horsepower, 350 torque, rear wheel drive in this case. But this one is essentially the uh, performance package on this uh, model. Meanwhile, on the Mustang, we don't have a performance package. We have these ugly wheels. Unfortunately, that's the only thing we're left at this point because I generally thought we're not going to get one this year to do drag races or even a review, but somehow here we are, which I'm kind of happy about it. This year, this makes about 480, 486 horsepower, although some of the dinos show that this thing makes less than what Ford claims, but that's just for another discussion. But here's what we have on this thing. It's got these continental tires, these ugly, horrendous wheels. This one, again, does not have the performance package. It looks nice, but one thing I have to say, it's so much bigger than the Z. The Z is so small in comparison. I mean, look at that. The, the lens will not fit the uh, Mustang fully, but then when you point at the Z, it's so much smaller, which means this is lighter as well in comparison to the Mustang. This is about 3,700, 3,800 pounds. That's about 33, 3,400 pounds. That, of course, makes more horsepower than this. So it kind of makes a sense. And they also compete for the same markets. Now, I have driven both, that for a week and this for a week. And I'll tell you, here's what I love about the Mustang, the raw V8, the sounds, and the fact that this has two seats in the back. I had my son in the back in the child seats and I was driving around, love that. Something that I can't do with the Z. But here's what I love about the Z. It is small, it's more compact, it's easy to drive around, it's very, well, let's just say zippy, and most importantly, you feel connected to the car. It doesn't feel big, it doesn't feel heavy. And what's even more important is the fact that this is a lot more fuel efficient than that. That thing is a guzzler. It's a V8. It's a not uh, crazy fact about it, but let's start them up and let's start first with the Mustang. Now, of course, the Mustang sounds incredible because it's a V8, you got those quad exhaust tips at the back, it's not rocket science. On that side, that definitely needs an exhaust, but with the Nismo, it gets fixed a little bit. Very, very, very competitive vehicles, both compete against each other, and here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do a roll race, first low speed, and then the second high speed, and then we'll do the drag race between the two. Now, the Mustang does come with the launch control. I believe the Z does as well, but that one you can set up the RPM and you can change the RPM settings. It's actually very, very easy to use and it's very quick and it doesn't require you to go in multiple settings. It's pretty easy, it's just a button and you start. Now, let's start first with the roll race and then we're gonna do the drag race. First at low speed, second gear, all the way to the cones that we have set up over there for the roll race. Anyways, let's roll. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, sir, we're gonna do first the roll race. I'm gonna put mine in uh, sport mode. Here we go, I have mine in full sport mode. I'm good to go on this side. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready when you Sorry, I had to get a new uh, uh, radio. Okay, so I have mine in sport mode all the way. When I say three, two, one, go, on uh, three, two, one, on go, we go together all the way to the cones. You know the drill. Uh, make sure first, second gear all the way to the cones. Stay right beside me. Okay, three, 
two, one, go. There we go, let's see. It literally feels like just another Mustang. Placement for displacement. He was beside me. What the hell? On a roll race. That's amazing. Well, sir, that was very impressive. I gotta say, like that was you were beside me most of the time. Okay. So now we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but now we're gonna do it at a higher speed in second gear all the way to the cones. You don't, you know the drill, you, I don't have to explain to you. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. So now we're gonna do it at a higher speed just to make sure Is this thing slower than the older one? Wow, that is... I literally went to freaking... I did a full burnout. I did a full burnout. That was a horrible horrible drag race yeah that was like We have to do that because there was an absolutely horrible drag race. This is absolutely shit. A little bit better this time, but... It's literally a full burnout with this car. That was better, that was better. That was better, that was better. From a dig, I'm gone on him.
Dave, uh, I think we've proved our point from a dig. I'm very fa I'm faster than you, even though I'm shocking it with um, horrible tires too. Not the best tires, but clearly they're slightly better than your Bridgestone. I just want to say thanks for uh, coming today Another for another video, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure. So that was it, guys. That was very interesting. Um, I did expect the Mustang to win from a dig, but from a roll, it was very close to the Z, which which also makes me think the Z's got the poor launch control from the still, it doesn't really do very well in comparison to this. But even this one is spinning, but then it just goes. No replacement for displacement. Which one would I buy out of these two? I think in my position with the kid, because this has two seats, I love the Mustang. But I also love the Z because it's just, it feels tighter. It's more, it's better around the corners. It's just, you feel together with the car. With the Mustang, it's like a big, machine with the V8. That's what this is. And it's pretty scary sometimes if you don't know how to handle it. But does this thing feel faster now that I've raced it from uh, the outgoing model, the S550? Not really. It actually feels about the same. It actually sounds the same. It's just a facelift. Let's just call it a, uh, this is like a Botox injection kind of thing. That's the way I see this car. With that in mind, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.